A 60-year-old woman from Hempstead was infected with the chikungunya virus, and it appears to have been caught locally. Yeah, Dr. Darian Sutton is here now to talk much more about chikungunya. So this is the first time it has been found here in our area. So how worried, how did this woman get it, and do we need to be worried more people might get it? Well, the overall risk remains low, but what makes this so critical is that this is the first locally acquired infection. This, this patient had not traveled outside of the country, and that is where the risk looms. And what makes this significant is that a mosquito inadvertently must have bitten this patient, this woman, mm -hmm. right. and that could have been either this mosquito carrying the infection, or maybe that mosquito had bit someone else who had traveled. Now, oh, that right. is Dang. the clue okay. here that we're not sure of, but pool testing has not revealed any, um, any chikungunya that has been in the species of mosquitoes that have been in the area, but it very much can signal a, a sentinel event. Uh, and by that, I mean, uh, typically the weather within New York is not the type of weather right. that can harbor a mosquito that carries this type of viral mm -hmm. infection. With warming climates and climate change overall, mm -hmm. we're starting to see more of these tropical infections oh, in urban interesting. areas. All right, before I freak out, just yes. tell me what are the symptoms and is it life threatening? So it's not, it's not life threatening overall uh, for the average risk person, but of course, if you have a higher risk, if you have a history of chronic disease, and yes, your risk has increased. Now, in terms of the symptoms, this is a viral infection. It is mm -hmm. not infectious from person to person. But if you get bitten by a mosquito that has this, mm -hmm. you can develop symptoms within three to seven days after that bite. That can include joint pain, fevers, and a rash. Again, it's not transferable from person to person. We have not yet seen signs of it in pool testing for mosquitoes, but just important to be aware of. So, okay. as you mentioned, it primarily happens in more tropical, warmer settings. So how are other countries that typically deal with chicken gun, how are they dealing with it? I'm so happy you brought that up. In, in countries like China and Europe, we're mm -hmm. seeing a significant rise in zoonotic or tropical infections such as chikungunya. The mm -hmm. WHO has estimated that 5.6 billion people live in areas that are now designated as at risk for this type of infection. So in terms of what countries are doing, they're trying to combat the mosquitoes. And yeah. that's what we try to do every day. You know, mosquito season still goes on. Probably it's typically ending around now mm -hmm. when the temperature drops below 50 degrees consistently at night. But still important to understand that those reservoirs of water, which mm -hmm. is where mosquitoes breed, you want to get rid of them. The empty tires, you know, leaving right. uh, areas of, of water open, you want to make sure to get rid of that and clean it. And if I go into the ER, they'll know what it is right away from a blood test? Or That's not? a great point. So they would know if they get tested, but many people are not aware to uh, talk about their risks. So it's important to talk about your fears, your concerns, right. and to ask and advocate for that testing. Because I'll say as an emergency physician here in New York City, that is not typical. So you yeah, definitely I mean, have to open a conversation. To get something else. Yeah. Right. All right. Okay. Thanks again, Dave. Of course.